Sri Lanka has a tremendous opportunity to develop aquaculture sustainably. We're here with the Canadian International Food Security Research Fund to help develop that potential. Our target is to work with communities, coastal communities that are impoverished, and particularly the women in those communities, to have an opportunity to grow oysters that are safe and quality for a market that's growing by the day. This project, uh, which is initiated by IDRC and Nara, is important because uh, oyster is an untapped resource. And uh, I hope with this initiative uh, we will develop this citrus oyster industry in Sri Lanka. And it is our interest in uh, developing not only Kenkish aquaculture but also uh, mollusk culture. And uh, this project, uh, I believe, uh, is an important uh, initiative. <laughs> My husband can only fish for six months of the year. The little income he earns is shared among the fishermen. Selling oysters is the only income we can have during the six-month monsoon period that begins in April. Twenty women, all of them very poor, are involved in the oyster culture program. We are very happy to have this opportunity and we believe that it will improve incomes for our families. We cannot totally depend on the sea for fishing any longer. We must do the oyster culture program for our future and we ask for the necessary support from the project to make it successful. Oysters grown by two pilot project communities are sold to local firms like Seafood Alive. They purify and prepare them for shipment to markets. Firms like this are building facilities to meet recognized international standards for product safety and quality. The National Aquatic Resources Research and Development Agency works with the project utilizing ISO certified labs where oysters are tested after purification to ensure they are safe for the market. The demand for fresh quality oysters is growing rapidly by hotels and restaurants throughout Sri Lanka. The project is helping train chefs and staff in handling preparing and presenting oysters. Ensuring sustainability for oyster culture requires a comprehensive monitoring program. NARA collects water and oyster samples from farm sites and processors. Their scientists analyze them in internationally accredited quality control labs. This ensures any contaminants do not exceed acceptable limits. Professor Wananayaka, a member of the research team, began working with oyster farming in the 1980s, but it was not until the civil conflict ended in 2009 that his dream has started to become a reality. Oysters grow naturally and abundantly in the lagoons and mangroves here. These resources provide the seed and sustenance for farming oysters and must be protected. Our research is ensuring that aquaculture is done in harmony with these sensitive environments. What is the role of NARA in this project? Uh, as far as the oyster culture is concerned, uh, the quality and the safety is very much important. Actually, NARA is uh, carrying out research work related to uh, develop very good uh, safety product and also very good quality product to the market. At present, we carried out a community-based oyster culture program at Gangiwadi and Kalpit in Putulam district while considering these uh, safety issues and then we bought, and really we want to develop a very good quality product for the market, for the sustainability of the oyster farming industry in Sri Lanka. Our project is giving communities facing diminishing incomes from fishing a chance to improve their livelihoods. In this, women can take on leading positions. These succulent oysters are coming to plates and tables all over Sri Lanka, sustaining coastal communities and the environments in which they live.